And now, the top 10 cannabis studies the government wished it had never funded. Number 10. Marijuana use has no effect on mortality. Dot. A massive study of California Health Maintenance Organization members, funded by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, NIDA, found marijuana use caused no significant increase in mortality. Tobacco use was associated with increased risk of death. Number 9. Heavy marijuana usage as a young adult won't ruin your life. Veterans Affairs scientists looked at whether heavy marijuana usage as a young adult caused long-term problems later, studying identical twins, in which one twin had been a heavy marijuana user for a year or longer, but had stopped at least one month before the study, while the second twin had used marijuana no more than five times ever. Marijuana use had no significant impact on physical or mental health care utilization, health-related quality of life, or current socio-demographic characteristics. Number 8. The Gateway Effect May Be a Mirage Marijuana is often called a gateway drug by supporters of prohibition, who point to statistical associations indicating that persons who use marijuana are more likely to eventually try hard drugs than those who never use marijuana implying that marijuana use somehow causes hard drug use. But a model developed by Rand Corporation researcher, Andrew Morrall, demonstrates that these associations can be explained, without recurring a gateway effect. More likely, this federally funded study suggests, some people simply have an underlying propensity to try drugs, and start with what is most readily available. Number 7. Prohibition does not work. Part 1. The White House and the National Research Council examined the data being gathered about drug use and the effects of U.S. drug policies. NRC concluded, the nation possesses little information about the effectiveness of current drug policy, especially of drug law enforcement. And what data exists show, little apparent relationship between severity of sanctions prescribed for drug use and prevalence, or frequency of use. In other words, there is no proof that prohibition, the cornerstone of U.S. drug policy for a century, reduces drug use. <laughs> Number 6. Prohibition Doesn't Work, Part 2. U.S. and Dutch researchers, supported in part by NIDA, compared marijuana users in San Francisco, where non-medical use remains illegal, to Amsterdam where adults may possess and purchase small amounts of marijuana from regulated businesses. Looking at such guidelines as frequency and quantity of use and age at onset of use, they found no differences except one. Lifetime use of hard drugs was significantly lower in Amsterdam, with its tolerant marijuana policies. For example, lifetime crack cocaine use was 4.5 times higher in San Francisco than Amsterdam. Number 5. Oops! Marijuana May Prevent Cancer. Part 1. Federal researchers implanted several types of cancer, including leukemia and lung cancer in mice. Then greeted them with cannabinoids unique, active, components found in marijuana. THC and other cannabinoids shrank tumors and increased the mice's lifespans. Number 4. Marijuana May Prevent Cancer, Part 2 In a 1994 study the government tried to suppress. Federal researchers gave mice and rats massive doses of THC, looking for cancers or other signs of toxicity. The rodents given THC, lived longer and had fewer cancers, in a dose-dependent manner. In other words, the more THC they got, the fewer tumors there were. Number 3. Marijuana, again, may prevent cancer. Part 3. Researchers at the Kaiser Permanente Health Maintenance Organization, funded by NIDA, followed 65,000 patients for nearly a decade, comparing cancer rates among non-smokers, tobacco smokers, and marijuana smokers. Tobacco smokers had massively higher rates of lung cancer and other cancers. 
Marijuana smokers who didn't also use tobacco had no increase in risk of tobacco-related cancer, or of cancer risk overall. In fact their rates of lung and most other cancers were slightly lower than non-smokers, though the difference did not reach statistical significance. Number 2. Yet again, marijuana may prevent cancer. Part 4. Donald Tashkian, a UCLA researcher whose work is funded by NIDA, did a case control study comparing 1,200 patients with lung, head and neck cancers to a matched group with no cancer. Even the heaviest marijuana smokers had no increased risk of cancer, and had somewhat lower cancer risk than non-smokers. Tobacco smokers had a 20-fold increased lung cancer risk. And the number one cannabis study the government wished it had never funded. Cannabis does have medical value. Again. Dot. In response to passage of California's medical marijuana law, the White House had the Institute of Medicine review the data on marijuana's medical benefits and risks. The IOM concluded, Nausea, appetite loss, pain, and anxiety are all afflictions of wasting, and all can be mitigated by marijuana. While noting potential risks of smoking, the report added, we acknowledge that there is no clear alternative for people suffering from chronic conditions that might be relieved by smoking marijuana, such as pain, or AIDS wasting. The government's refusal to acknowledge this finding caused co-author John A. Benson to tell the New York Times that the government loves to ignore our report. They would rather it never happened. Some of these studies are more than 30 years old. So, why is marijuana illegal? Get the facts. Go to www.cannabisscience.com www.medicalcannabis.com www.phoenixtears.com or www.americandrugwar.com and learn more today.